Hey everybody, it's Margaret with Texas Gal Treasures and today I'm bringing you the weekly goals update and I wanted to talk a little bit more about uh, the depression, anxiety, and isolation that comes with being a you know reseller or stay-at-home mom or just self-employed and not really being around a lot of other people because it's been hitting me again and um, we talked about it a little bit uh, we did a New Year's, was it New Year's Eve chat or Christmas Eve chat? I can't remember. New Year's Eve, I think. I'm um, with Zaheer and Caroline and a few other people. We talked about um, about those things and, you know, things keep creeping up. And so I just thought, you know, let's just talk about it. It doesn't, I don't talk about it enough probably. And people see this me on the screen but don't know like what what was coming right before this or what was coming um, you know what goes on in my day-to-day -day. so I thought I would just share a little bit about that and um, because we got a really good response last time when I talked about it and I think it helps one it helps me to talk about it and then it also helps other people to feel like oh, okay I'm you know not alone other people are feeling this as well and so I think it really you know struck a chord last time when I when we discussed it so I just wanted to talk about it again because I did have a rough morning. You would never know what to look at me right now, uh, but I'll get into that in just a second. I want to say hello in the chat. looks like we have, it says eight viewers. Well, now it says 10, but I was like, there's more people in the chat than that, so I know that can't be right. So hi, Lee and Ting. How are you? And hey, Barbara, Lauren, and going on Grumpy. Hello, Karen. Good morning. Well, it's not, maybe where you are this morning. Uh, it's 1 o'clock here. Hello. Uh, and hello, Turtle Trader. And Silver Hair Stacker and Thrifting Life. And Michelle, hello, everybody. Thanks so much for coming to join me live. I really appreciate it. I really do look forward to this because I do feel like oh, I get to talk to people. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Hyper Picker, how's it going? So I will just jump right into it. I'm going to go through the kind of like what was going on today stuff first, and then I'll talk about my goals for the week um, towards the end. I have notes today too. I was like, this is how rough it was for me this morning. Hey, Zaheer, how's it going? Um, so, so this morning, I literally, right up until about an hour ago, I was still in my pajamas. Let's just put that right out there. I hadn't showered, I hadn't gotten dressed, anything. Um, so, yeah, so there's that. So I had a really hard time getting up. Um, and every time I got up and started moving around the house to get stuff done, I would just start feeling majorly overwhelmed and just go back and lie down on the bed. And so this kept happening for a few, well, probably at least an hour or more. Um, and, you know, it's telling Randy, I don't know what's going on. You know, I'm feeling really overwhelmed. And um, so then I just pulled like all my, I pulled my, I have a, like a house calendar and then my calendar and got a notepad. I'm like, okay. Let's figure this out. Like, what's the culprit? What is bothering me? You know, what what is keeping me from getting going? And honestly, I have these days, you know, and sometimes it's more frequently than just one day. But it's so easy to just uh, give into it and just let yourself slide and just go, go, go with it, you know. Um, <clears throat> so I was, I went and got all my calendars and just told Randy, look, I, I'm going to go do this or I'm, I just feel like it's not going to get better. So he just gave me a little space and let me go sit in. I literally, I was sitting in the bed. I'm like, I'm not leaving the bed. You know, I'm on the bed and I'm going to sit here until I figure out what, what's causing it and, and what I'm going to do about it. You know, and this happened a lot when I was teaching too. I would see ahead of me all the things that had to be done in the week with, you know, when I was teaching with this, the kids, maybe we had testing, we had lessons, we had this, but in my brain, like it doesn't spread out across the week. It's just like this one big mass and it's like, do it. And it's, it's all got to be done now in my brain. You know, I know it's not real, but it, I just see the whole to-do list or the whole, everything that has to get done as a big chunk. And that, and I think that is what happens in my brain anyway. Um, that makes me feel like really overwhelmed. Um, <clears throat> so I wrote notes. So my culprits, that's what I call them. My culprits, um, were, were I, f I feel like I'm overextending myself and it's not so much with the re well, partly reseller stuff, but I've started doing a little more sewing. And so my mom is really excited about that. And so she's helping overextend me. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's already got me like three projects in three different projects. I was over there yesterday cutting fabric and she starts talking about another project and I just almost lost my, let's just say like mom, I can't right. I'm, you know, I sew, but I'm new to quilting. I can't like you've already got me cutting for three different projects and I can't keep them straight. And she's like super excited about it though, uh, because she's sending me, all the time she's sending me emails and texts and look at this article and look at this book and blah blah blah. I mean she's super super excited about us doing more of this kind of stuff together which I think is great but I'm gonna have to like reel her in a little bit um, because yeah so tomorrow I'm going with her to her sewing group and they usually sew from 10 to 2 and I just said I can't do that that's like my day right because when the kids get off at 3 and then it's over forget it so I said I can go from 10 to noon I need I need that little bit of time and then so and then she signed me up for a class on Tuesday so I, I agreed to it but then it just sort of sunk in like oh that's 10 to 1 that's like a lot of my day again <clears throat> you know I want to have a balance I don't want to throw myself into one area so um <clears throat> and then <laughs> um so let's see how let me check the chat real quick and I'll move forward with that's just part of it uh, of what's going on hey Okay, who did I miss? Hey, Kristen, hello. Hey, Silver Hair Stacker again. <laughs> so, okay, so then from there, I hope you guys can relate, just the whole being overwhelmed or overextended kind of thing. If you have any questions or if you have uh, things you wanna contribute in the chat, go ahead or I'll just keep going with it. All right, so, okay, so here's how ridiculous it has gotten with the whole anxiety thing um, so I'm sitting in the bed trying to do this and there's a pile of blankets that are clean and folded but not put away and they're sitting on this like chest towards the end of the bed and just staring at them is just driving me nuts it's just like there's just it's like one more proof that I'm not like accomplishing everything I need to accomplish right piles like around the house so I'm just sitting there staring at this pile of blankets that will probably take mm, 60 seconds to put away if I really got up and did it and so Randy comes in at this point and he's like what is going on like what you know what can I do let me know I was like those blankets I was like a crazy woman those blankets Randy those blankets are just staring at me and and I I know I just need to put them away but I just can't I, I just feel like I can't get to it you know please tell me that you've been there <laughs> and I know it would just take like no time at all to get these things put away so he says okay I'll put them away but of course me being me I'm like wait I need to show you where you know <laughs> so we, they get put away very quickly very very quickly and that was good but it was just one more proof like in my brain even I even could acknowledge how ridiculous it was like I know it will just take like no time at all but these blankets are just staring at me <laughs> it could be anything a pile of whatever you know so yeah so there's that and then I haven't another thing that I think may be contributing to it I'm um, like flaring up again is that I haven't been walking like it was I was doing my two mile mornings and it's been two maybe three weeks so that might be um, what you know another reason so that that and well, well you know there's other stuff too and um, I know that walking and getting physical exercise helps I know that you know uh, another thing is I'm iron deficient I'm just gonna go <laughs> Welcome to my list of woes. <laughs> I, I haven't been taking my iron and it's just like blah blah blah. So but it was the the thing I want to take away from this is I sat down instead of like letting myself spiral into this just, just depression and staying in bed and being there and just whatever forever, you know, however many days it took. I I made myself sit down and like write out like, okay, what is it that's bothering me so bad? What is causing this? You know, and so, yeah, it's, it sounds like my pity party list here, um, self pity party, but it was more just like me trying to see, okay, what is it? Write it down and then see what can I, what can I do about it? Like, so when I, when I felt like all of those things for the whole week were just like balled up and like in my face, you know, I just got the calendar out and just started plotting it out on the calendar. Okay. See, this doesn't happen till here and this doesn't happen till here. So then it gets like. All right, so Monday and Tuesday are gonna be bonkers, but I'm looking at Wednesday and Thursday and they're wide open. So I just, I'm trying to clutch onto that right now where I know like, okay, it's cool. Wednesday and Thursday are coming. 
<laughs> and it'll be okay. <laughs> so over here, Stacker says, yeah, my motto, never do today what I can be put off till tomorrow. <laughs> and Kristen says, I totally understand. I get easily overwhelmed. When I've been to an auction, I feel like I need to sort everything straight away. I wish. This may be another thing that's bothering me. <laughs> I'll turn, I'm going to turn the computer a little bit so you can see my room. I'm sitting in my workroom. So you can see a bit of my death piles over here. So there, okay, there's my light. But see all of that? That's just staring right at me. It's just staring right at me, right, right at me in the face, right? It's looking me in the eyes saying, hi, this is more stuff you haven't done. <laughs> So, okay, I just moved the computer a little bit for you. Um, and then another thing that's been bothering me, not bothering me, but stressing me out, is my son, my older son, has had, and this is, you know, sorry if this is TMI, but this is a mom thing. You know, when your kid's not 100%, it stresses you out, right? So last year when he was in second grade, he had, he has this, a year, well, we found out, he has a urological condition that it's, it's something he's going to have his whole life, that he's got a, manage but right now it's I'm the mom so it's my job to manage it and apparently I haven't been managing it very well because it's having he's having a, a flare up again and it's pretty scary for him and it's pretty scary for me because it involves peeing blood and that's not fun so he had surgery for it last year and we really don't want to go through that again so we're kind of working I'm gonna call his urologist tomorrow but we're working on like we know what we need to be doing to help combat this but we just kind of slacked off and we're like you know when things are fine everything's fine everything's fine right but no so we we're just learning like okay we can't we can't slack off on this <clears throat> so you know I'm gonna have to email his teachers and blah blah, blah. and it's just like one more thing that's just like Arr! you know we, we're just trying to get leveled out it's all cool it's always one thing right it's always something right that's how it feels um <laughs> Let's see, Silver Stacker says, in reality, what I do is start doing something easy and fun, and then once I have the momentum going, I get into the not so fun stuff. That's a good idea. <laughs> Sewing Machine Man says, what a mess you have there. This is so true. It's a semi-organized mess. I mean, they're in tubs-ish, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, okay, so those are my tales of woe. That is my day today so far, and I literally was like, and that, that's the thing about my, the YouTube, I'm, I'm hugging my computer now. This is, this is my <clears throat> YouTube, like what this does for me. I would still be in my pajamas right now. But I knew, I had set that goal today, like I am going live at one o'clock. I'm going to go talk, you know, about my goals. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to talk about this. Um, so I did, you know, and like that, that is what got me to go get in the shower and get myself ready and get in here. So for those of you that have, have considered, you know, starting a YouTube channel, even if you don't put your face out there, you know, it's something to think about because it's really helped me a lot. It, it gives me somewhere, you know, like I have to be, not a have to be, but, you know, somewhere I need to get ready for, which I should be getting up and get, I mean, a lot of days, let's just, put, I do get up and get ready most days, but sometimes, sometimes I don't. Um, Sewing Machine Man says, thanks for the video embedding. Oh, thanks. No problem. For Im embedding into an uh, eBay listing. Yeah, I, I like doing that. Okay, so yeah, that is what what having YouTube does for me. It helps me so much in that respect. Because otherwise, yeah, I would be still in my pajamas for sure. <clears throat> okay, boy, this has gone by way faster. I had like so many notes. And I was like, this is, this is going to take a while. But no, we're only about 15 minutes in. <clears throat> okay, so so last week, I actually did pretty well. I had set a goal for myself to list 50 items, which is kind of a lot. It was a bit of a stretch for me. But I think I listed 24. I mean, I think I got about halfway there. And then last night, I put some things on a local garage sale site. So I think that's going to count <laughs> for me. And then um, this week, because I'm going to be sewing <laughs> a lot and Friday and then Friday Friday we're taking I'm gonna take the kids out of school early and then we're going to my sisters we're just like we're going to the country and we're gonna just say bye to the life you know city life so we're, we're gonna go see my sister we're gonna leave Friday take six hours to get there still in Texas and then stay come back Monday which is Martin Luther King Day Martin Luther King Jr. so all right hey Steve Green how's it going all right so 
Um, oh dear, what am I saying? Okay, so what else is going on this week? So as far as listing goes this week, I don't know. I am planning on trying to take some more pictures of things, hopefully bigs, hopefully bigs, because I've got lots of bigs to get out of here. Um, and I, like I said, I'm, I'm sewing two days this week, tomorrow with my mom, and then if, I don't know why, like two hours out of the day seem, makes it feel like that's my day is alone. That's it, you know, <laughs> but maybe I'll be able to come home and get some pictures taken or something. We'll see. Um, but that's what I need to do is get a whole bunch of pictures shot so that I have them in my phone. So as I'm going here, there, and everywhere, I can start just listing or creating drafts or something. I'm not really good at listing on my phone because the typey, I don't, I just can't do it. I have a short thumb. That's my excuse. But <laughs> I can't really do that. So um, I just create drafts and then come home and, and finish them off. So that's that. And then yeah, so I'm taking my mom, I told you my mom signed me up for this class because she, she my mom, okay, we think differently. Let's just put it that way. Um, she, she's she been trying to teach me more about quilting and she, well, when I was in high school, she tried to teach me how to knit and here's her style. I love you, mom, if you're watching, but I know you're not. So here's her teaching me how to knit. Okay, here's what you do, Margaret. I'm being my mom now. Okay, here's what you do, Margaret. So she, I'm holding the, the knitting needles. This is what this is. And then as I'm, she's telling me what to do, she's like, oh, here, let me just take that and show you. And she'll take it away and do and just start doing it. I'm like, mom, how am I going to learn? So, so I was over there this week and she's like, okay, show me, show me how you use the rotary cutter to cut the fabric. So she's standing here watching. And I don't even touch the rotary cutter and the, the ruler yet. And she's like, wait. And then, so she starts doing it. She's like, you do this and this. And she's like, okay, now show me. And so I go into, I didn't even get to touch it again. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay, here's how you do it. Don't forget this. And so three times she stops me before I can even touch the fabric or the cutter or the ruler. Three times stops me and is like, wait, don't forget. You need to do it. I'm like, mom, you said for me to show you how I do it. You're not letting me show you. So um, so this class that she signed me up for is somebody else is going gonna, is gonna to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing when I learned to sew. My mom did not teach me how to sew. I signed, we, you know, she said, well, she and I signed me up for a sewing class because that's her, I mean, sh that's her style. Wait, I'll do it. Let me show you. I will do it. <laughs> Let me just do it. <laughs> you know, um, let's see. Uh, Shunka, Cody, if you are having anxiety attacks, you might go to the doctor and seek some help. You know what? That's awesome advice. But I, you know, they're not that bad right now. If you've watched my channel for any length of time, you might know that I had some really bad spells a few years back. And yeah, and I did go to a therapist because I was really anti taking any medicine for it. And that's just me. I have my own hangups with that kind of stuff. But I made it through and it made me feel really strong and made me feel like I can do anything. So I can get through this. I appreciate your, your concern though. I appreciate that. And then Turtle Trader uh, says journal planner, being flexible, be and being strong for your son. Oh, thanks. You know, I'm a good mom and thanks, daughter, wife. Thank you. I'll take you to the kitchen. I'm making dog food. Also going on grumpy. <laughs> I made banana pancakes this morning, so I did do something. I will just let you know I was in my pajamas and I wear a mouth guard at night because I ground my teeth. I still have my mouth guard in. Like I'm standing at the, the thing making banana pancakes for my kids. I don't eat any of them. I make them, got my mouth guard still in like this done okay back to bed you know <laughs> that's how bad it was this morning you know and yeah that was it <laughs> silver hair stacker says someone teaches me like that and i just go ahead and cut off part of my finger right cover up part of my finger off right right i think that's what she's worried about maybe that but with knitting what am i gonna do like whoops right poke me and myself in the eye i i don't know that's my mom though we'll just leave that there you can you can fill in the blanks <laughs> <laughs> with the rest of our relationship. It's gotten a lot better. We'll just put it that way. <laughs> and then, okay, so another thing that has happened this week, this is on a more reseller related note, um, is that I am really leaning towards pulling out of Amazon FBA uh, because I got an email letting me know how much my long-term storage fees are going to be. And it is insane. It's over $500. Let's just put it that way. And I don't, I, I don't think that's going to be part of my business model anymore. And I'm okay with that. Um, so 
because a lot of the things I've had were long tail items, a lot of books and maybe some media. There were things that are faster, you know, games, puzzles, plush, some other stuff. But, and then things I was just trying out, sending in. So when I saw that, and it's, you know, Amazon let us know that the, these changes were coming, but I is my own fault that I didn't crunch the numbers and figure it out. Or there's probably somewhere on there that tells me. And I didn't have everything recalled when it was free. I had some. I did. Um, so, whoops, sorry. So I'm going to be having probably everything recalled. Um, and just because it, it, it's still going to be costly to get those things sent back, but it will be not as costly as the long-term storage fees. Right? Okay, so... Um, so those things, when they come home, that's going to cause another pile. We'll just <laughs> so I'm, I'm planning on some things will go to like half price books. Some things will go on garage sale, like a local garage sale site. Uh, some things will end up on eBay and some I may just redonate. We'll see. And then like, I have all these things that I had planned on sending into Amazon and what we're doing with those. I talked to Randy about it. So things that are like games and puzzles that are new and sealed we're gonna take and put in our closet, like we have a shelf up in our closet, because this year, around Christmas time, our scout troop um, adopted families and there are other people, you know, just people in need, <laughs> we'll just put it that way. So we'll, we're gonna take those things that we think might work for gifts or might work for donations of that sort when they we do the adopt a family with our scout troop and put them up in the closet and just kind of keep them there so when the time comes we've got things to pull from or let's say the boys have a birthday party they go to you know like just the other day I bought a Lego friends Lego set brand new and sealed at Goodwill for seven bucks you know so keeping that putting it to the side and if the boys get invited to like a little girl birthday party Boom, we've got, yeah, gift stash. There you go. <laughs> that's right. OMFUG says, I would concentrate on merch. Yes. And that's actually, I put that in here. So I was a bit relieved. I'm kind of relieved right now that merch is on hold, which I thought I would never say. <laughs> but the fact that we can't upload new designs or anything right now just kind of frees me up a, a little bit to concentrate on, like, shutting down the FBA and getting some of these other things sorted because when they do open that back up, I'm really going to be focusing a lot more on that because the money's really good there. You know, if you, and that's another thing, what, what you focus on is going to, what, what you focus on expands basically. And it, that's what's going to prosper, you know? So when I'm focusing, focusing on eBay, it does well. When I'm focusing, focusing on Etsy, it does well. So just, you know, I'm going to really be focusing on merch and then the eBay and Etsy things I'm also going to do, but I think Amazon FBA, no. And, and I talked to Randy, my husband about it and just said, you know, well, if we find things that like RA, which I don't do a lot of that we want to send in, you know, I'm still approved in these categories, so I can. So that's cool. I can do that. So it's not a total like I'm out forever. F you FBA. No, it's, <laughs> it's not like that. I mean, I'll be back maybe if it, I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm, I'm not real passionate about it, but, but they changed the rules and you know, that's fine. Whatever. Going on Grumpy says it's cheaper to make homemade dog food, dog allergies. Yeah. The dog has allergies or you have allergies to the dog and then feeding him this food makes you less allergic or the dog has allergies in the food. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Dog allergies. Okay. Bonus bo boxes and packing supplies. Yes, yes. And I made another oops. This I ordered my eBay supplies. You know, you get the coupon where you order the, the eBay packing supplies every quarter. Well, I ordered the bat like the the mailers, you know. And then I ordered I like the boxes. What size are they? Eight by eight by eight. So I, they're really good for, for hats and things. I clicked the wrong ones. <laughs> so like the square instead of getting the eight by eight square boxes, I don't even know. I haven't even opened the box yet. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, I think I ordered the wrong one. They were real. The box that they came in was humongous. I was like, oh dear. I think I ordered the wrong box. It happens. You know, yeah, everybody makes mistakes. So I will find something to ship in them. I'm sure. <laughs> something big. Um, hey, Sherry, how's it going? Just you just recalled unsold Christmas stuff. Yep. Oh, but I have like I don't know over seven hundred items there. Maybe more. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, thanks, Lauren. <clears throat> okay, and then what else is going on this week? So yeah, merch is still on hold, but we're still doing our merch talks. We're going to find something to talk about. So this week, um, let's see, last week it was Joe and Jeff and I. This week, it's Wednesday, usually around lunch, lunchtime, noon, 1230, because that's Joe's lunch break. Um, so we'll be talking about merch and other print-on-demand stuff. So Jeff will be there. That's Jeff Davidson, Cost Frog. And then maybe Mike um, Treasure Gnome. He couldn't make it last week because he was on the road. So hopefully he can come chat too. These guys are just a wealth of knowledge. I just love them. And so I learn a lot. I learn a lot. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Richard. How's it going? And then what else is going on? Um, tomorrow I'm going to try to get a sales update out. We'll see with all the sewing stuff. <laughs> Tuesday, I have no idea. Thursday, Thursday evening, I'm going to be on J and A talking about jewelry. So tune in over there. And then wait, Thursday during the daytime, we might be doing a iLot admin reseller hangout. So that's kind of new. We're going to be working on that. Um, that's really exciting. So the uh, admins in International League of Thrifters, we're going to start planning on a maybe twice a month we haven't figured it out yet exactly maybe twice a month um hang out where we just talk about stuff i'm sure we're gonna have topics and things i have to get back with them and and figure it out we've been talking about it for like six months doing this hasn't happened yet has not happened yet hey my two cents so you're not able to do march right now well i'm What's up there is selling, but I'm not able to edit anything or upload anything new. They have everything just kind of on hold because they're cleaning out their system or revamping things. So luckily, I've got stuff there that's selling, but unluckily, I can't upload. So we'll see how it goes. Um, Lauren says, I'm going to make my first YouTube video in the next couple weeks. Seems like fun. Yeah, it really is. I mean, and it. If you watch back some of my older videos, my first videos, it's it's yeah, for me it was it was a game changer, a life changer. So it's been really great. <clears throat> Wolf says, when you send your designs to merch, who owns it at that point? I do, I still do, and they even have in their frequently asked questions. You know, can I upload it to other sites like Redbubble or T Public, Teespring? And yeah, you can still upload to other places. Yeah. <clears throat> Me too, Lauren. That's why I do it live so often. She says, I like coming to the live shows and chatting with everyone. Me too. <clears throat> oh, yeah, my two cents. It sounds like they were, weren't were ready for the rush. Uh, yeah, I think it was just like it blew up, and they were like, woo. So, yeah, that's exactly how they probably said it, woo, and um, then just said, shut it down. <laughs> so, hey, Jason. Uh, Silver Hair Stacker says, I like making videos too, but nobody watches them. <laughs> I was like, I'm sure I'm subscribed to you, though. Am I not? I'm pretty sure I am. Anyway, I'll come look. Because usually I have a, a huge watch list. So, yeah. Okay, so I told you about JNA Thursday night. Um, and then not this week, but the week when Martin Luther King Jr., when we have that Monday off. That week, I'm planning on doing a jewelry jar giveaway. So I'm excited about that. I really enjoy doing those because I feel like some, I have people say, oh, we don't have jewelry jars where we are. No, you know, no fair. So I've given away, well, I've given away one blind, you know, like jewelry jar that I haven't dug into. Just here, I'm giving this away. And then I've done one where I picked pieces out and gave away. And so I'm going to do another one blind where I'm just like, this is the jar and it's, a jar that I have here because I have a plethora of jars because <laughs> I buy them and just save them. I hoard them. <laughs> so, hey, Treasures of Robin Hood. Hello. Hello, Dole. I'm going to say your name wrong. Let's just say McLean. <laughs> I am glad I'm making you feel not so alone. And you guys make me feel not so alone, too. I really, really appreciate everything. Okay, so is that everything for the week? I think so. So there's still a lot going on. <laughs> Shamelessly promoting my channel, he says. We've all done it. <laughs> okay, hit the like button. We have 36 viewers right now. Let me let me look over and see how many likes we've got. Only nine likes. We have 36 viewers. Okay, go over there and hit the like button, you guys. I am inching closer to 8,000 subscribers, so I'm really excited about that. I'm hoping that next week, by the time we do the giveaway, I'll have 8,000 subscribers. So let me selflessly promote myself. <laughs> Silverhaired Stucker. Ha <laughs> ha.
Um, Sewing Machine Man says, I've heard of people listing 50 items a day. How can that be done? Any tips? I, well, one, I'm guessing you would have to have your pictures taken already. Two, maybe it's multiple, like it's, you've got five of the same item. Like I have five hot dog mans. So they count that instead of that just being one, you know, it may be one listing, but there's like five hot dog mans, you know, that kind of thing. So it kind of like builds like that. How else would they do it? Maybe they've got more than one person like working at it. I'm I'm good if I can get ten in, but then I don't have all day. Or maybe you know they just sun up to sun down, and they are just like like that. So I don't know. How, I couldn't. Nicole did eighty a few days ago. Well, awesome. <laughs> I've already done fifteen today. My two cents says, all right, that's enough now. I was just talking about my anxiety. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> and I came to you for support. <laughs> no, no, I think it's awesome. I mean, I mean you've really got to be dedicated. You've really got to focus. I don't know how. Um, but maybe you don't stop for pee breaks or anything else. <laughs> hey, King Flip, hello. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm just teasing Shelly. Yeah, you get into a rhythm and you start cranking them out. Plus, if you're listing all of the same kind of items, that really helps too because then you're just not like, all I'm listing is bracelets today. Kaboom, boom, 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 right? And so it, it makes it pretty easy. And I notice when I do start listing, it's another one of those things I feel like it's going to take forever, but it doesn't. When I start listing, it goes pretty quickly, but then I list across post immediately. So I do Etsy and eBay, like back to back, and I just... For, for the item so it takes a little longer but not not too much so yeah I mean you really have to be focused and not have a whole lot of distractions I think so Lauren says I'll take a photos of like 250 things in a day and then the day or two after I list 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 and start over hey Nevada yeah that's kind of what I do I take a big batch of photos and then I just you know use those to list from and then right Mass listing is about using templates to make things faster. Like you can do 50 shirts if you use a template and add the info. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So, I mean, I think that's, those are the things that you have to do to get there. I know it's not realistic for me because, yeah, you know, just, I mean, being a stay-at-home mom and I literally, I think I only have about a four-hour window in there after, you know, the kids get dropped off and I'm trying to get my exercise in and then get the kids picked up. And then I try to list them in the evening after they go to bed. So, yeah. Lauren says, works best for me because I have a Monday through Friday job as well. Yeah. Full-time eBay. Yeah. It would be hard to do it. <laughs> King Flip, I guess y'all are accountability partners. King Flip and Lauren. He says, she better be working. Or you better be working, Lauren. That's right. Okay. So, you guys. Oh, Kristen says, I box things up after I've bought them. Tackle one box at a time. You mean like you box them like ready to ship out? No, that can't be right. Oh, okay, I see. So, like, I have a tub of fabric. So, when I do fabric, I've got all that fabric, and it's ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're talking. Sherry says, I don't have the patience to sit at the computer and list for more than three hours. Yeah. I don't think I do either. <laughs> I have to take breaks. I do. I do. But, I mean, this is, I have the luxury of that because, but if you're a, full-time reseller and I think about that like if I was a full-time reseller I couldn't be as lackadaisical as I am about you know la di da list some here list some there you know you got to hit it there's no playing around and I would just have to tell because I'm a sucker for my kids so when they say mommy come play with me or mommy come look at this thing I made or mommy read me this book okay you know I mean that uh, that's my number one though so you know, and if I was a stay at home, I mean, if I was a full time reseller, I would just have to say, baby, mommy's working right now. I can't do it. So that's a, a perk that I have, I think. So, yeah, luckily, I, I'm lucky in that way. Silver hair stackers depends on what it is. I listed a clarinet, but he had to clean it, test it, oil it, take pictures, look at the model, et cetera, et cetera. It took hours. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome, though. Hopefully, you get a lot for it. Yeah. Okay. I'm checking in here. Sherry sure, says, you got kids, I got dogs. <laughs> Ooh. Rag says, I picked up a beautiful belt buckle that has over 200 rhinestones on it. I knew it was missing a couple. 
Would it be better to list it in belt buckles or crafts? Let's see. What would I do? I'd probably list it in, I guess I'd have to see it. <laughs> I'm thinking I could list it in belt buckles if it's not super noticeable and just note that they are missing and possibly could be replaced, like go to Hobby Lobby and get some rhinestones to replace it. I don't know. Um, or if it's not that awesome, then crafts. Crafts. Okay. All right, so this will be a shorter one than normal, you guys. I really appreciate all the chat and everybody contributing and letting me know. Uh, that was a good chat about getting a lot of things listed in one day. That's awesome. I don't. <laughs> but maybe, you know, like I said, I've got that Wednesday and Thursday blocked off to hopefully get a lot of that stuff done. All right, so again, uh, hit that like button down below, you guys, and follow me on Facebook. At Texas Gal Treasure, that way you know when I'm going live. I'm also in Instagram at Texas Gal Treasure. Hey, Brock, jumping in right at the last <laughs> at the last moment. He says if it's super pricey, you can pay in both categories. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so make sure you hit the like button. Follow me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures and on Instagram at Texas Gal Treasures because I post other things there. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thanks a lot.